Where do you go when you're angry, upset, tired, sad, or just need some time alone? Odds are you end up in your room on your bed because everybody has one of those, right? Wrong. That's not the case for hundreds of kids here in San Angelo, but there is one initiative working to change that. Since we began it citywide, we've given over about 500 and almost 520 beds. And that's only been about a year and a half. Shirley Oliphant started Children's Bed Project in the fall of 2013. The Sierra Vista Methodist Church was paired with Alta Loma Elementary as part of another program. After watching a video about inner city students receiving beds, that got her thinking. She didn't know if this was even an issue in San Angelo. Surprising that there are that many children in San Angelo not sleeping on beds when we all feel so comfortable. You know, and we don't even think about that. I think most people aren't, aren't even aware. I've had lots of people say to me that they can't imagine that there are children not sleeping on beds. And not only are there children, there's, there are many children. The first year, they gave out about 30 beds to just one school, about 10% of the school's population. But the children don't just get the bed. A bed and a pillow and comforter and sheets. Shirley remembers the first time she went to deliver one of these beds. The children were sleeping on the kitchen floor and there was no furniture in their apartment at all, except a bed their mother slept in. That moment stayed with her and pushes her to not only keep going, but recruit others for the cause. Children are our true innocence. They're the true innocence. And that if we can do anything to improve their life or make their life better, and that we need to open our eyes and, and help them. Even after delivering dozens of beds, the one thing that never gets old. What really stands out to me is how excited the children are when they get these beds. When we deliver uh, the beds to Alta Loma children, often they're waiting outside for us. They can't wait to, to see what their bedding is. They're so excited about whatever color it is. They, all, they always tell us it's their favorite color. Is also the one thing that serves as her greatest motivation. It's shocking, but it's also, um, it's also a blessing to me to see that there's a need that we can meet and that we can make a difference. So where did you sleep last night? If we want the world to change, we have to be the ones who change it. So how are you going to make a difference? Sonora Scott, Fox News First.